Hello and welcome. I just want to jump in here. We're going to talk about count on to subtract using 10 as a landmark. So again, our starting with 10 and going from there. So we will jump right in. Make sure if you had, don't have your materials, again, you jump in, go and get those. Um, you will make sure you have those with you. We're jumping into our place value chart. Today, our number is 22. What happens if you take 20 away from 22? Pause and work with your learning coach. Your next number is 57. What happens if you add 10 to 57? Pause, work with your learning coach. We have our addition problem with our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. If you need to knock off the hundreds and still just focus on the tens, do that and work with your learning coach. We've made it into subtraction. Oh, goodness. You guys are getting smarter and smarter by each day. You're going to go in there and work with your learning coach on it. Jumping over to the spiral, spiral review. I can never seem to say that. <laughs> in all, does it signify addition or subtraction? The goal is to eliminate ones, the, the numbers at the bottom, A, B, C, or D, that do not make sense. Pause, work with your learning coach. Again, in all, addition or subtraction. Hmm. Read through and work with your learning coach. Here's your direct instruction. Pause, work with your learning coach. Dig a little deeper with the direct instruction. Here's your guided instruction. Again, if you're using 13 minus nine, this is going to be a little bit more difficult to put into the tens and ones chart, but you definitely can and showcase if you have unifix cubes, you can showcase how the unifix cubes in the tens area, the tens uh, column break apart so your child can see how things start moving within the tens and ones. So you can pause, do it with your learning coach. Again, here's your next problem. Pause and work with your learning coach. Next problem, pause. Work with your learning coach. Next problem, pause, work with your learning coach. Pause, last problem, work with your learning coach. Last but not least, you have flex your brain. This allows your brain to use all the muscles and keep on growing stronger each day. Work it out with your learning coach. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.